Today on Two Crazy Ketos, Rachel's gonna cook lunch. And I will fire up the Blackstone right after this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we are sitting on our patio. It is a little bit of a rainy day. Yeah. But it's springtime, and springtime means summer's coming, which means outdoor cooking, barbecues, things like that. And I love outdoor cooking because all of the mess is outdoors. So we've got a Blackstone griddle. We actually have had one that we got for Christmas. It was an older one. We used it for a while, found that we really liked it. So we, we decided it. to upgrade to their newer design uh, because of the way their grease traps and things work. But... I love cooking on this thing because first of all, when you cook on it, you don't have to worry about any pots or pans. Nothing is getting dirty that you have to clean in the house. We cook a lot of bacon and burgers and things like that. So you don't have a lot of splatter of all the grease all over your countertop and your stovetop. And it is super easy to use. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can use it. Are you sure? I am that sure. So I think what we need to do is head over. We'll show you guys the Blackstone. And then we're going to have Rachel cook lunch completely on the Blackstone. Okay, so as you can see, we have dedicated a corner of our patio to Joe's outdoor kitchen. And over here we have the Pit Boss, which I'm pretty sure Joe loves more than me. Then we have a table here, which is what he preps with. He's got a light in case he is cooking in the dark. Um, then we have the La Caje China back here. That's basically just a pig roaster. We only use that on like big family occasions. It'll roast an entire pig in three hours. Yeah. And we have a place down in Miami where you can get an entire pig and it's like 80 bucks. For but it generates a lot of meat. So we don't usually do that unless we're throwing a party. Um, and then lastly, we have the Blackstone, which hopefully I will not screw up today. Now, eventually my plan is what I'm trying to find is like an outdoor kitchen station that I can put where that table is. And then that would hook up to the hose. This way I would have like a that little sink good. or something like that. And I would just drain it out. Because right now, the screen. every single time Joe has dirty hands, he's got to come inside like he's prepping for surgery. Okay, so let's go over to Blackstone real quick. So this is our new Blackstone. Um, not a lot of difference between this and the old model. The difference really comes with uh, draining the grease, the grease draining. And also the new one has this fancy little orange stuff, which is just a cosmetic thing. But other than that, it's very, very similar. Uh, but this one came from Costco. So it came with a couple of little accessories, you know, the normal kind of thing that Costco does where they throw some stuff in there to get it from them. Reminds me of QVC. Yeah. So this little shelf here, uh, this was an add-on at Costco. You can get them separately. I think they're like 80 or $90, but it's nice. It just adds on with two little bolts, and it's got this piece to hang. It's got the magnetic piece over here, and then it's got a shelf. Like, I bought these bottles on Amazon. Uh, I put water in one for cleaning the grill, and I actually have a second one that you can put oil in. Um, these shelves here actually fold down, so you can fold them down, like if you're trying to store it on both sides. There's a shelf down below, and then there's obviously the place to hang the propane. Now the difference between this one and the other one was the, the first one, the grease channel came here and it went into a cup on the side over there. And then what would happen is the grease was actually going down the leg. And you can see down on our like patio there that it, uh, Left some grease stains. Left some grease stains. So the new one here, the grease drains around the back. So you can see there's a little opening in the back on the griddle and it just comes out there so you can keep pushing. Also, the Costco version came with this nice cover, which we like better than the vinyl covers, especially because yeah. we use it every day. 
the vinyl covers, you gotta wait for it to cool down. And it like hooks. And yeah, so I like that because it does hook on the back and you can actually like flatten it up a little bit more. And that does two things. Number one, it's gonna prevent like the wind if you're doing a lot of cooking, you don't have to worry about wind hitting it. It's also like a little bit of a grease splatter. Now I notice this is already moist. So this is just like cast iron. So you season it when, and then the more you use it, the more non-stick it's gonna get. And you're not putting salt and pepper on it. No, you're using oil. So when you first get it, you turn it on, you put cover it with oil, rub it in, let it smoke, and you do that three or four times to season the griddle. It also prevents it from rusting. It so rubs the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again. Are you ready to do this? I am, but are you sure that I am not gonna screw this up? Okay, let me ask you something. Can you turn a knob? I can, yes. Can you press a button? Yes. Can you cook? Well, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Actually, seriously, if you know how to cook an egg on a frying pan in your stove or just a burger on the frying pan, okay. you can use a Blackstone. All right. So I let's get that. going. First thing you have to do is turn on the propane. So right down there, the propane is hanging. Just turn it. Now, I'm a lefty. Usually I do everything wrong first. Okay, then we're going to come over here. And the first knob, I like to do them in order. You can do them all at the same time, but you gotta be quick, otherwise you'll have a little bit of a fireball. So turn it to high and then press that button. You gotta make sure it's lit. Press it. Press it a couple times. There you go. Now you can do the same thing for the other ones. Just turn it. And then press the button. There you go. It's on. You're a little afraid of that. I am a little bit afraid of it, yes. It's okay. like a pressure cooker thing for me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the griddle heat up, but we're gonna cook everything on here. So we're gonna make burgers, eggs, and bacon all on this one thing. So there's no other pans to dirty up or anything. Yeah, but that's a lot of variety. How are you gonna make sure that you cook it all and get it all done at the same time? You just have to know your timing. So obviously we're using frozen burgers, so we're gonna start with the burgers and the bacon and then move on to the eggs when you're about halfway done. Okay. We're gonna cook the eggs on one side. So that's what's nice about this is you have four different temperatures. So the two over on the right, go ahead and turn them all the way down to low because that's where we'll cook the eggs. Now just let this heat up for a few minutes and we can come back and start cooking. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, don't screw up our lunch. Mm. Okay, here's what we have. Over there we have some eggs, but that's gonna be the last thing we put on. We've got some of our bacon, a couple of burgers, we already have the cheese portioned out and obviously some Redmond for the seasoning. Okay. So first thing you're gonna do is, I like to just take a little bit of bacon grease and just put a little spoon on the one side. You don't the need The hotter much. side? This side right over here, right up there. Right here? Yep. That's it. <laughs> okay. Now you can just use your spatula and just kind of smooth it around a little bit and then throw the burgers in that spot. That's all you have to do. Okay, so we're gonna let the burgers go for about three or four minutes before you flip them. And we can actually put the bacon on right next to that. Like right here? Yeah. I'm so glad we got the slicer because this is like thinner but perfect. Okay, now we're just gonna let that cook a little bit and you can actually turn down the bacon about halfway to low. Okay, so we're using frozen burgers. If I'm using fresh burgers, I would usually have seasoned them already, but the frozen ones, you really season them once they start thawing out a little bit. So you can go ahead and start seasoning this one side. Just take a little bit of the Redmond's, just put like a pinch on each one. And then we have this uh, Sunrise Cowgirls Coffee Rub from Fresh Jacks. Just sprinkle just a little bit of that on each on that. And then once we flip it over, you can uh, do the other side. And uh, we can take a look at your bacon. How's your bacon doing? Looking pretty good. You can probably take one of your spatulas and flip that bacon over. How does everybody like their bacon? I like my bacon crispy. They're hanging on. I like my bacon crispy.
Now, if you really want to get fancy, we do have a bacon press. Aww. So, like, you can just put that on there, and that would actually keep it nice and straight. I don't use it very often because all it does, does is really way? make more things for me to clean. Everybody lay down and go to bed. Okay, you ready? Yes. We can start with our eggs and then we're gonna flip our burgers. And over on the cooler side, you're gonna crack three eggs and keep them kind of together. I put them in a line. Kinda gotta do it quick to get them all to cook evenly and just have each one touch. There you go. I can't get them out. Now you can use your spatula and stop it from spreading if you want. Okay. And now then what we can do is actually take your bacon and check it. I'll take this off for you. You're gonna go ahead and go ahead and flip that. It's probably about done. Now what I would do is just kind of move it down to the front corner, away from where the eggs are, the other front corner. There you go. Now you can flip your burgers and then put the other set of eggs on. Now put the other eggs right up where that, about where that bacon was. You broke it. Sorry, that'll you be mine. You put it a little close to that grease trap. Uh -oh. But it stopped. Okay, now, Rachel likes her eggs, the yolks to be completely cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that dome over there and put it over that set of eggs right there. This one? And that's going to allow the steam to cook the top, and you won't even have to flip them. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning. And now you can season your burgers. I feel like a short order cook. Now, you see how those juices are coming through? That tells you that they're cooking pretty well. Oh, this and thing in the middle? And you only got a couple of minutes left on cooking those. You can actually turn that down because it's going to retain some heat. So you can turn that actually off if you want. We'll let that go for a minute or two, and then we'll put some cheese on the burgers and let it melt. While we're waiting for it to cook, I did want to mention this stuff. You want to hold that up, Rachel? Sure. I will leave a link for this down below. You can get, I found it on QVC, but you can get it on Amazon. This stuff is awesome. This is the best degreaser. You can use it in your oven. You can use it on your countertops, and it works awesome outside, and it's super concentrated. So I got those bottles. You can use regular bottles, but you can buy it by the gallon. It's like $40 for a gallon of it but it's like one ounce per bottle. I like that it, it's, it says that the uses are buses and subways. It works really well. It'll take the grease off of anything. It's one Runways of the best cleaners I've ever seen. And airplanes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and we're gonna flip over your burger. Get them close together. Put your cheese on them. and then put the other dome over the burgers. Ooh, fancy. Now, now let's check your eggs. Voila. And uh, for you, you probably want it just a little bit more. I do want a little bit more. Okay, I will go get the plates. Okay. Here's your plates. Thank you. It should be all done now, so you can take off all the domes. Just put them off to the side. Ooh, that looks good. That's how Rachel likes her eggs. It is, in fact. And that's how I, how I like my eggs. So you can uh, do one of your burgers onto your lettuce. Whoop. Just use one, use a spatula all at once. I don't want to throw it, oh my goodness. Wouldn't that have been funny if I like threw it in there? Okay. There's Joe's.
I love grease on my lettuce. Bam. Again, you saw we put no oil or anything on there. And this is a newer uh, Blackstone, so it's not seasoned as well as like one you've had for a while. Are you ready? So turn off all your things, turn them all off. And now you're going to learn how to clean it. So you're going to take that little spatula that's right there. Yep. And just very carefully so you don't splatter, just kind of push everything down towards the middle. Oh, this really does look like one of those hibachi, like when we would go to like Benihana or something. Okay, so now that you got that, you can wait a little while, but we're gonna clean the top real quick because I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Okay. So take, your, take some paper towels, like a few paper towels and fold it up. Okay. And then fold it in half. Now I usually will wear the glove, but we're just, this is water right here. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just, look at this here, quick. Now just use that and kind of rub, clean it off a little bit. Oh my gosh. It's just coming right off. Yep, and we're, you're gonna do one piece at a time. Yeah, let me use the tongs, because I feel like I'm gonna burn my hands. Oh yeah, that's way easier. You just get that corner right over there. Down the thing. And guess what? I cleaned? Your griddle is clean. Oh my goodness. No pots, no pans. The only thing we have to do is from the grease splatter that's over here on the shelf that you got a little bit over here. Right. Use that degreaser, wipe it down, and you're done. Let's go eat. Okay, so here we go. We got a burger, a couple of eggs. We've got some bacon, a little bit of lettuce. I love anything hot, so I've got some of this yellow bird habanero condiment on here. And I have some Primal Kitchen chipotle lime mayo on my burger. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more Redmond's on here. Hit me one time, please, sir. Thank you. Okay, let's see if you actually cooked well or if you ruined our lunch. Oh no! And again, we're just using frozen burgers today because it's easy, but a lot of times we do fresh burgers. Very good. I did so good. So what do you think? Is that better than cooking on a frying pan or cooking these frozen burgers in the stove? It didn't heat up my house. Yep. It didn't dirty a bunch of pans. Yep. I didn't blow my face off. It cleaned up really easy because I don't want it to be disgusting next time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm impressed. And y'all know I can't cook. You could tell by how I flip bacon I can't cook. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section if you'd like us to do more cooking on the Blackstone, either me or Rachel. Because like I said, we are cooking most of our meals out here on the patio now that the spring is here. If we don't make it too fancy, maybe I could do it. <laughs> So we're doing it for our eggs, our bacon, our burgers. We've even been making skillet pizzas and taco bowls on there. They're really good. So please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time I cook, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.